way of doing things vile tulikuwa tunafanya mbeleni under the leadership of Kimani wa Matangi that is not going to work it will not it will not i will demand i have not said i will ask i said i will demand that kila mtu wherever you are that you have to be absolutely prudent you have to be absolutely responsible ya kwamba wakati unaona bill imewekelewa kwenye meza yako ama umepatiwa eh, quotation yoyote you have to first ask yourself the question if it was me if it was your money you are using would you pay for that item or that service at that cost if you cannot pay yourself at that cost don't take that and don't bring it to the desk of the governor and don't bring it to the uh, coffers of the county in treasury for it to be paid go and look for a better deal that's the way you are going to work uh, ladies and gentlemen tuko pamoja nyinyi wafanyikazi wetu ambaye muko hapa hata nyinyi ma CC kwa vile mmekuwa na malalamiko mengi, mengi na hata CEOs tumekuwa na malalamiko mmesikia vile wanasema kila mahali ya kwamba allowances za wafanyikazi unasikia mfanyikazi excuse me my friends unasikia timu mfanyikazi amekaa miezi mitano miezi sita hajalipo allowance zake tuko tuko pamoja but you know why those allowances are not paid The reason why they are not paid is because our money is getting lost in other places. Tuko pamoja? Yes. That is kwa vile tunawachilia pesa zinapotea mahali pengine. Hiyo pesa ambayo ilienda kwa procurement mahali ambapo ililipwa three times more ambapo haingefaa kulipo. Hiyo ndio pesa ilikuwa yako ya kukulipa mshahara in time. Tuko pamoja? Nataka we bring this home to ourselves because I also want to Uh, address the issue of ourselves as at the workers level either as a cc as a ceo even mahali unafanya za casual because kitu moja ya pili ya muhimu ambaye nimeona na nika notice inaendelea kwenye kazi zetu ni kwamba hatuwajibiki na ile kitu inaitwa productivity unajua sisi tumesema hapa mambo ya wage bill wage bill iko juu tunalipa pesa mingi hiyo ndio neno kila mahali alafu unauliza watu wetu kama wage bill iko juu does it mean ya kwamba tuko na wafanyikazi wengi zaidi ya vile tunavyofaa unasikia kila mtu anasema hatuna wafanyikazi wa kutosha that's what all the cc have said isn't it that's what everybody is saying tunahitaji watu zaidi but then why is our wage bill high wage bill yetu iko juu kwa vile productivity does not iko or much wale watu wenye tume deploy kufanya kazi tuko, tuko pamoja jameni na vile wakati ulikuwa unapiga makofi wakati tunasema ya kwamba pesa inapotea kwa magari na ile piga makofi hata sasa wakati tunasema tuko pamoja piga makofi hata sasa wakati tunasema ya kwamba ukiwa mfanyikazi pia tukisema nenda kazini ufanye kazi kutoka saa sa, sa moja asubuhi ama saa mbili asubuhi mpaka saa 12 enda ufanye kazi unapata mtu aliingia akahang jacket na akatoka na akaenda tuko pamoja unapata ya kwamba mimi nilitembea kwa hizo ofisi nimewaambia unapata ofisi file file iko juu ya desk na mnai imejaa vumbi na officer amesimama hapo hivi anakuambia welcome your excellency mr governor alafu wakati anakuambia hivyo anasahau ya kwamba the first sign ya kwamba this guy has not been in office for the last four months these are files iko mtu atakuwa anakaa kwa hiyo ofisi miezi mine imejaa vumbi mahali amewekelea tu nini hata mwenyewe kwanza hata hajakaa chini amesimama tuko pamoja because that is the culture that is the culture ambaye sisi wenyewe tumekubali even ndio our dominating culture kwamba ile ni kazi ya wenyewe hii ni kazi ya county hii sio kazi yangu na ndio mimi nataka niwaambie jameni kama mnataka tufaulu kwenye hii project yetu ya kubadilisha hii county ya Kiambu na kufanya vitu kwa njia sawa sawa sisi kama wafanyikazi wa hii county tukubaliane ya kwamba we are going to be responsible even for the time that we have committed to work so when you earn your shilling earn your shilling and earn it fairly and faithfully tuko pamoja watu wetu